First of all, let me express my gratitude to HKMA and Hong Kong Academy of Finance for the kind invitation to speak at the virtual event today. And it's also a great pleasure for me to participate in this thematic program on fintech and digitalization webinar series organized by AOF. The massive application of new technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning in recent years in, is undoubtedly one of the key propelling factors for the development of fintech. I'm sure the topic of the webinar today on fintech, artificial intelligence and machine learning shared by Professor Tem Ka Yen of Hong Kong University of Science and Technology will offer a holistic view on how AI and machine learning technologies are reshaping the landscape of the financial industry. And as the first digital-only bank in China, the use of AI is certainly one of the most important components in our business model. So I'll spend the next 15 minutes to share our perspective on AI applications and governance in the banking industry, which hopefully can help to set up the context for the upcoming session by Professor Tan. As a digital-only bank with a mission to promote financial inclusion in China, probably the single most important challenge is the massive scale of the market we have to tackle. As of the end of 2020, WeBank is already serving more than 250 million individuals and 1.7 million MSME in China. On a daily basis, we are processing hundreds of millions of transactions, with our peak in 2020 topping at 750 million financial transactions per day, putting us among the top banks in the world. This is indeed a profile highly representative of the long tail part of the market with large number of small value transactions performed by our customers at high frequency. To handle volume of this scale, application of advanced technologies like AI and machine learning is very much a necessity, not an option. For the banking industry as a whole as well, the journey of digitalization also brings about additional challenges, including following. First of all, we will see decreasing predictability as customer behavior changes rapidly enabled by the development of mobile technologies, Internet of Things, smart devices, etc. And we also expect explosive growth in digital user base down the road. Also, elevated fraud risk as transactions are happening virtually without face-to-face -face interactions. And we'll also be facing pressure, extreme pressure on cost as ticket value will get lower when you try to tap into a much larger customer base. The capability to support universal embedment as you need to work with more and more partners under the open banking paradigm. Also the support for continuous innovation as market becomes more and more dynamic. Last but not the least, higher service level now becomes a hard requirement as your customer can come in anytime from anywhere, unlike the good old days when things only matter when your branches are open. So as a result, it's not surprising to see the banking industry actively exploring the use of AI to reduce cost and enhance agility. The chart on the left from Gartner actually shows the trend of adoption of various AI technologies in the last few years. In terms of the number of projects, machine learning, natural language processing, and chatbots still commands the majority of the market. We strongly believe that AI will certainly have very profound impacts on the nature of work. Namely, who will be doing the work and how the work is going to be done. For those labor intensive tasks, like what we see in a call center, Applying AI for realizing automation will be the key driver to enhance productivity. And while for areas beyond current human capabilities, like pattern recognition, AI actually offers the perfect solution for augmentation. So after all, we strongly believe that the golden rule of FinTech very much applies. The use of technology will help you to optimize your operational efficiency to improve your user experience, to help you operate at a much larger scale, 
and also be able to help you to reduce cost and also mitigate risk. So we believe that AI can ultimately reshape the entire process of banking business, covering the front, the middle and the back offices. A few examples on the front office application, including um, leveraging AI technologies like facial recognition to do remote KYC, using chatbot technologies to efficiently uh, operate your customer service, and also improving customer experience by placing smart robots at your branches, for instance. In the middle office, using AI to do precision marketing to identify the customers that you want to target, and also using AI to enable smart risk management, understand better understanding the profile of your customer base, and also using AI to do anti-fraud detection. In the back office, um, technologies like AI OPS will help you to uh, more efficiently manage your IT operation and also using um, NLP technologies to support uh, automated service quality assurance and even doing uh, collection by AI robots. So all new technologies also come with new risk. Uh, artificial intelligence is no exception. So two very important characteristics of AI uh, will bring about four types of risks that need to be addressed. The two very important characteristics of AI are that, first of all, models are very difficult to explain, even uh, in the eye of domain experts. And secondly, systems are now fully autonomous and putting them under control becomes more and more challenging. Which brings about four new type of risk. First of all, risk around data. If you have contaminated data, it will easily lead to false conclusions. And we'll also see risks around algorithms. A question around whether algorithms are fair enough, whether they are biased and may lead to discriminations remain a key question. Also, we have risks around privacy. So nowadays, more and more people ask about the question where whether we are too exposed in front of robots. We also encounter ethical risk, as in autonomous driving. So the question remains, where does the responsibilities and accountability lie? So these are the questions that need to be answered. So in order to mitigate the risks brought about the, by the use of AI, we require a proper governance framework. Based on our own experience at WeBank, we see four very important practices that deserve particular attention. First of all, we see the importance of classic governance concepts. They still very much apply. For example, the three lines of defense as defined by the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision. We should apply very similar principles to define the model risk management framework for AI models. Also, we need to maintain human in the loop operating procedure. We shouldn't try to get rid of all the humans but instead we should let the expert participate and make key judgments. It's also important to support continuous innovation. Don't expect a one-size-fits-all solution at day one, but instead get prepared for a long time trial and error uh, at manageable cost, while try to perform continual enhancement along the way. Also, we should try our best to offer transparency and explainability as much as possible. Strive to disclose information in an understandable form to communicate truthfully with the customers. For example, by working with third-party certification. And also be proactive with regulatory bodies to demonstrate the robustness of your data and model governance framework. We also firmly believe that REC Tech Ready Solutions will bring us to equilibrium between technological innovations and regulations. So besides investing in AI to build innovative products and services, banks should also consider offering corresponding REC Tech solutions to the regulators. More transparent and trusting relationship between innovators and regulators is ultimately the key enabling factor 
for the healthy development of fintech. So this pretty much concludes my sharing for today. It's again my great honor to present my perspectives before you all. While our experience at WeBank may not be universally applicable, I hope the session today will offer some good insights for your current and future work. Please enjoy the rest of the webinar by Professor Tam and have a great day ahead. Thank you.